Well, I, I always knew that eating too much meat is not good for you, so I'm not really surprised, especially with all the, the overcooked meat or the overfried meat. We, we always heard back home that this is really not good for you. So I'm not at all surprised, I have to say, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to really conclude and stop everything in life uh, because it causes cancer uh, uh, right away. I know that cigarettes, uh, you know, and cigars and smoking was bad, but uh, to stop my bacon and uh, my sausage, I think I still like uh, like it once in a while. I need more studies, and I think the government, if they choose that it's really bad, I think they'll take it off the market. I felt like it was kind of sensationalization of something that we we already know about. You know, that red meat is bad and bacon is bad for you. And knowing that, I mean, you're saying we already knew about it, would it change the way you eat right now? No, no. No, I happen to not eat bacon uh, out of religious uh, uh, observance, but uh, with regard to my eating of steak, uh, I'm planning on eating steak uh, probably tonight. <laughs> so, no, it shouldn't change. As some of the more extreme comparisons were compared to uh, cigarettes, saying that it could be almost as bad as smoking cigarettes, uh, how would you react to that? Uh, okay, I think that's uh, a, a bit over the top. Well, I haven't seen the studies, but I don't think it's as bad as that. Well, since I happen to be in town for, <laughs> for a pulmonary conference and I'm a lung specialist, I think cigarettes are much worse than, than, than steak. <laughs> Definitely.